this video is about applications of uh, derivatives of periodic functions. Uh, I'll run you through one of these questions so you can see how it works first of all, and then we might look at some slightly more difficult ones. Uh, this question says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals sine x at the point pi zero. So find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals sine x at the point pi zero. Uh, now, that uh, the first time you see that, it might be a bit confusing. And you're not sure exactly what it's asking you to do. It's actually a pretty straightforward question. Here's our x and our y axis. Now, y equals sine x is going to look like this. Uh, it's, f it's a fairly straightforward curve. It's going to have a period of 2 pi, which means that uh, point pi 0 is right here. And they're asking us to find the equation of the tangent. Now, a tangent is a line that just touches it and moves, th just just touches it. Um, it's basically they're asking us for the um, rate of change at that particular point, and then to find the equation of a line that has that rate of change and passes through that point. So first of all, um, we need to find the derivative of sine x. So if y equals sine x, y dash equals cos x. Pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> now we need to sub in the x value because we want to know the rate of change at this point, at this point here, pi. So y dash equals um, cos pi. And you can type that into your calculator, but you really should know that cos pi is equal to negative 1. So that means that the gradient of this line, or the rate of change at that particular point, is m equals negative 1. Uh, now we want to know the equation of that line. So remember that a straight line has the equation y equals mx plus c. And we know lots of information about that line. We know it has a gradient of negative 1. We know that it passes through this point here. And don't forget, this point is pi 0. So 0 pi plus c. Uh, now we just need to find out what that c value is. Um, so that's going to be negative pi plus c is equal to 0, which means that c is equal to pi. So now that we know our c value, we can rewrite our formula, y equals mx plus c, as y equals negative 1, which is just negative, x plus pi. Okay, so it uh, might be really confusing the first time you see it, but just to, to recap what just happened. We had an equation, y equals sine x. Um, and we want to know the equation of the tangent at the point pi 0. Here's the point pi 0. And there's a tangent, there's a line that goes goes uh, along there that, that just touches the, the equation, or just has the rate of change of the equation. So we find the rate of change at that point, um, sub pi for x. We found the rate of change at that point by finding the derivative. The rate of change at that point is negative 1, or the gradient at that point is negative 1. Uh, so y equals mx plus c. Now we're finding the equation of that line itself by subbing in what we know. We knew that m was negative 1, we knew that x was pi, and we knew that y was 0 at that point. That allows us to find that c is equal to pi, and there's our answer. All right, I might just run through another one that's uh, slightly more complicated. Okay, so here's our slightly more complicated question here. Uh, find the equation of the tangent to the curve f of x equals 3 sine 2x plus 4 at um, f5, so when x is equal to 5. That's what that means, when x equals 5. So we have a periodic function. Uh, it's a sine curve. And at some point, when x is equal to 5... There'll be a tangent. Uh, and we need to know the equation of that tangent. 
Now, I've just made that up in my head. It's probably, it's definitely not there. Let's have a look at what this looks like. You can do this on your graphics calculator. 3 sine 2x plus 4. Now, uh, this is 3 sine 2x plus 4. And you can see it looks like 5's up there somewhere. Uh, so let's have a, have a try at this and see how we go. Now, first of all, find the derivative of that function. So f dash x is going to be uh, 6, 6 cos 2x plus 4. Now, uh, if we want to know the gradient at this point f5, we can do it by subbing it into that equation. So sub x equals 5 into the equation, which means that 6 cos 2 times 5 plus 4. That'll be 6 cos uh, 2 plus 5 plus 4 is 14. 6 cos 14. Now just type that into your calculator. Uh, make sure you're in radians mode, but you'll get um, 0 0.8. Two. Okay, so that means that when x equals 5, uh, the gradient of that line is going to be 0 0.82. Now the problem is that we have a gradient and we have a um, an x coordinate, but we don't have a y coordinate. And if we're going to find the equation of that line, we're going to need that y coordinate. So let's find out what the y coordinate is at that point by subbing x equals 5 into f of x. So subbing it into this original equation. That'll tell us where it is on the actual line itself. Uh, so 3 sine bracket 2 times 5 plus 4. And yeah, you can just type that into your calculator. Uh, and you'll get 2.97. All right, so I'll just redraw this so we can see what's going on. We've got a sine curve, and it seems to pass through the point 5, 2.97. And if we drew a tangent to that point, the tangent would have a gradient of 0 0.82. Okay, so final step is to find the equation of that line, the equation of the tangent. So y equals um, mx plus c. We know the y value is 2.97. We know the gradient is 0 0.82. We know the x value is 5. And we just need to find the C value from that. Okay, so I'll leave you to rearrange that, but you'll end up with C equals negative 1.13. Uh, and that really finishes off that question. So we can say that if Y equals MX plus C, that means that Y equals 0 0.82 X minus 1.13. Okay, this stuff can get pretty complicated, so make sure if you're giving it a crack, you give me a, a yell in class and we can run through a couple of questions. Um, give it a try first.